Oh, it's been so long since we've been back here. Kitty! Kitty, you're still here. Do you want me to buy you a toy or something? Do you want to eat? Have you been eating? Have you been eating? This is full. By the way, I saw a friend of yours in the water earlier. That was kind of weird. Greetings from... De... De Moines? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Jump in the urinal and stand on your head. I'm the one that's alive. You're all dead. What? What's this about? I don't remember that name at all. First of all, how did you get in my room? That's weird. No messages? Oh, I feel like this has got to be a missed opportunity. No messages on my computer at all? Throughout the entire time in Night City? Really? The mayor of Night City. Oh, this got updated because Jefferson won the election, right? This didn't say this before. Yeah. Jefferson, his life story. He, his parents own a small restaurant. He was born here. He grew up in Haywood. He graduated from the top of his class in high school and got a scholarship or university. The fastest student ever to be awarded a doctorate. He's a real smarty pants. And he also met his wife at university. Wait, but I want to hear more about how you won the election. Assistant Attorney General. Perales has been a member of Night City Council, using his influence to campaign against corruption and improve basic living standards of Night City's most disadvantaged citizens. Mayor of Night City since 2077. Oh, wow. The mayor oversees the treasurer's office, the deputies to the mayor, and directs the heads of the city's departments, including the police. I doubt we're gonna see any effects of the new mayor, but it is very interesting to know that Jefferson is officially the mayor. Night citizens have chosen their new mayor. The next Lucius Ryan is Jefferson Perales, who defeated acting Mayor Weldon Holt at the voting booths. Perales has announced his willingness to cooperate with mega corporations in the hope of raising the living standard of all whatever. Wow. Well, congrats. Congrats, Jefferson. But obviously, we're a little bit worried. This has got to be some story expansion content, right? They can't just leave it here. News. Hanako Arasaka has vanished. Oh, is she still officially vanished? Oh, she's nearly 80. What, really? She doesn't look 80 at all. Like, even more so than someone like Rogue or whatever. Perales replaces Ryan. Perales won by a healthy margin. Refreshing change after Lucius Ryan's lengthy term in office. And yet, people wonder if he'll be as professional as his impeccable hairdo. <laughs> the rest of it we've seen. I don't know how we're gonna see Lizzie Wizzy stuff and where does Nancy work again? N54, right? So her article should be somewhere here too. Kiroshi and Living Color, Attack on World Sat Communications. Uh, it's gotta be somewhere. No, we've definitely read some of these. Is Japan going backwards? Yes, it is. No. Not yet. Or, hmm. Well, we'll keep a lookout. Yes, kitty? Kitty, do you want to take a shower? I want to take a shower. Haven't had one for years at this point. Ah. <sighs> Should we at least get a good night's sleep? We haven't slept for even longer. Anybody want to call me? Rise and shine. Kitty, do you want to go out? 
Okay, maybe we'll try skipping time. Oh, it's only four in the morning. Holy crap. Try skipping time again. Oh! Ah, oh, shit! What the hell? Oh! Damn! Holy crap! Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. This happens during the relic malfunction. But that's so hard to time. Because you have to be near a mirror when it happens. My god. Oh. I wasn't smoking. <laughs> huh? Am I back to normal? I guess I am. Huh. Was that a strange dream or what? Oh, that's scary though. Especially because we're getting... More and more dead by the minute. Dead as in... Johnny seems to be taking over my body more and more. Can we watch the news? Like actual news? Not ads. It's N54. Oh jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. Advertising! Just ads. This one seems promising. Advertising! All the news all the time advertising. I think the TV at home really only shows ads. There's no T or there's no news around here. If we want to see some, probably let's try going to the elevator outside. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there's not really too much we're doing here. We're waiting for people to call us. Come on, let's call. Oh. Bartholomew Mortellini. Oh damn, could we have met this guy somewhere? Bartholomew owns a yacht that has never set sail or left the marina. No surprise there. The water in the bay is toxic, riddled with mines from the war, and tangled in strong currents. So why have a yacht? Well, for parties, obviously. The Krim de la Night City Krim gather on the deck to relax and forget all about their really important life problems. Bartholomew mingles among them, laughs, pours sham paradise, and cuts the good stuff on a silver platter. Then when everyone's loosey-goosey and niching for action, he starts scrolling. Bartholomew's recordings are low quality, chaotic, and edited, without any rhyme or reason. But they still fetch a handsome price on the black market. The people he parties with is okay with that? Can't imagine. Kerry Uridine, a devilishly talented musician, incorrigible rebel, celebrity, and rocker boy from Night City. People say different things about Kerry, but there's no doubt he's America's god of rock. In the old days, he strummed next to Johnny Silverhand in the cult rock band Samurai. When the two drifted apart, Uridine kickstarted a solo career, which, in spite of its ups and downs, is still going strong. Carrie's proud of his Filipino roots, though for someone of his fame, he's especially private about his personal life. For all its numerous flaws, he's made Night City his own, his most faithful muse. Carrie is probably more successful than Samurai ever was, right? He really shouldn't be feeling so down about himself, but yet he is. Us cracks. Us Cracks is a popular Japanese girl band who pack major arenas with their screaming fans and now they've set their sights on America. The band was formed when the media conglomerate MSM put out a global call for three candidates with a perfect blend of charisma, talent, and stage presence in order to compete against the increasingly more successful AIs making music. It just happens that the three winners were young American-born Japanese girls. They're all American! What a coincidence! Us Cracks is composed of Red Menace, Blue Moon, and Purple Force, not their real names, of course, but pseudonyms chosen to reflect their personalities. They're trendsetters in the laser pop genre and are famous for bombastic performances and charming, kawaii interactions with fans. So they're not even. They speak perfect English! But they're selling it. The way they're marketing it makes it seem like some, oh, exotic import from the East or whatever. <laughs> and clearly it's working. Oh, we're still getting some from time to time. Uh, the view. 
a shopping mall between Corpo Plaza and Glen offering lovely views of the nearby park and port. If you have the eddies for top shelf tech, weapons, clothes, and restaurants, then the view is a place for you. Find everything you need under one roof, all draped in luxury and tasteful elegance. Wow, that's a very confident name, The View. Cargo Bay, a shady scavenger-run marketplace in Northside. The vendors set up their wares in old repurposed transport containers, and most of what they offer has been smuggled in. Yeah, this is around where we saw the monk and stuff. Mmm, containers. Kabuki Roundabout. Despite its name, it's not just a place where cars go in circles, but a Chinese-inspired architectural gem that pays tribute to Kabuki's uniqueness. This is where old friends pick up, where they left off over a bowl of ramen, and kids gawk at the newest brain dance ads. This is where the second shift meets the third on its way to the NID, while black market trade goes on long into the early hours. Almost every corner of Kabuki Roundabout is occupied by street stalls, with high-end brands sold at low, low prices. You know, speaking of brain dances, I wish we had more. I'm guessing we're not gonna see any more. Maybe like one more? Ermlin Street. A little shopping street in Little China, Ermlin is a bright, noisy marketplace of all your heart's desires. There, you can get preem clothing, flashy cyberware, heavy weapons, the latest horrible vener venereal diseases. All depends on what you're looking for. The Badlands Dam. A multi-million euro dollar undertaking, an industrial feat, two million hectoliters of toxic water and hundreds of flooded homes. Welcome to the Badlands. When the dam was under construction, it was obvious there would also be a reservoir, which sounded great in theory. The townsfolk put that piece of knowledge in the back of their heads and didn't stop to wonder why they needed a dam. Why here of all places, and who was profiting from it? Spoiler alert, it wasn't the town's residents, and since losers don't get to write history, any memory of them and their tragedy evaporated from the collective consciousness as quickly as the morning dew on a hot summer's morning. Every aspect of life in Night City has been exploited by the corpse somehow. It's honestly quite frightening. Odd graffiti. Oh no, that's the graffiti in the back. Lizzy Wizzy. Well, I didn't vote for you, Paralysis, but you won anyway. Kitty, make sure to eat and whatever, okay? It's kind of early in the morning. But we can probably try to go to the elevator and all that. No, I eat very healthy. I don't eat much at all, actually. Geometric patterns. Subtle accessories, not too many. Usually monochrome or like two, three colors max. Less is more, right? That's what neo militarism is all about. Mm hmm, exactly. Like Jinguji. Clean lines, pencil skirts, asymmetrical jackets. Got some preem knockoffs down at the market. Saw them myself. Yeah, so did I. But the quality, girl, nothing like the originals. They practically glow. True, true. But oh. if you can't have what you want, better start one with Carrie, you hey. Drop whatever you're doing. Meet me at the marina. Don't make me wait. Say no more. On my way. In for a real treat, V. Uh, Night City Marina, Pier 4. We're going back to the marina. Hey, maybe we'll get to check out that yacht again. Slight change of plans, waiting on an important delivery and the fucking gonk's late. Be at the marina at 7. Okay. Perfect timing. Hey, Coach Fred. How you doing these days? <laughs> Still betting on fights? Jinguji. We could go back to Zane, Zane Jagger, to try to cash in on our discount. Although we bought some stuff there already. I don't really need to uh, buy too much more. A happy new gun owner, I hope. Hey, man. Nah, I don't need you for now, do I? Oh, I could probably sell some stuff. Oh crap, earlier! I bought the Eldorado, yes, from Jinguji, but I never wore it. Should we try wearing it now? <laughs> it's very gaudy. Wear something super gaudy to Carrie's boat thingy. My weight problems are still kind of a problem, but I think we'll be okay. We're not gonna do too much more looting from here on. Uh, inner shirt, I think? Yes, Eldorado, Aramid, Aramid, weave dress shirt and vest. Oh, that doesn't suit the jacket at all. Now I really feel like a magician. <laughs> Take it off. Oh my freaking god. I look like a corpo. 
Oh, I bought the skirt too, that's right. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't really fit Johnny's shoes, but I don't really have any... like, pumps or anything here. I've only got runners. None of these are really gonna fit. Oh, the office pumps? The cheap-ass office pumps? With the golden shirt? Okay, well, uh, we'll, we'll rock like this for a while, why not? <laughs> I can't see myself anyway. I don't think I've worn a skirt throughout the whole time. This might be my first time really putting one on. We can go check out Vic too, since we're in the area. What's your rush? Mm. Like what I see, baby. But I am busy. Ew. No. Environmental degradation has occurred as a result. Inhabitants of South Pole are still enjoying life as Antarctica's first dollhouse was recently opened. But perhaps most appealing to locals and newcomers alike is the astonishingly low crime level. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching. That still seems kind of high. Is that normal? 70 per 100,000? Well, in Night City, it's probably like 7,000, so... Yeah, we only ever see news in the elevators reliably. Maybe we'll have to keep coming back here from time to time. Okay... Busy, busy streets already by 5 a.m. The marina. It's back where we had the other quest. Boat drinks. Are there still cars they want me to buy? Cthulhu! I can buy the Cthulhu. Where is it? Is this gonna be like another hunting for a car again? Cthulhu, up there? Guess we'll see. Man, I can still remember rolling into the parking lot the first time we got here when Jackie was driving us home. That feeling when you see everything and how the rides connect the city, it's still, there's really nothing quite like it. Oh no, this is leading me, Ooh, this is leading me back to somewhere weird again, just like before. It's below, it's below. I don't think it's in the same place as where I bought the previous car. It shouldn't be. Did I pass it already? It says it's below me. Why do I always have this problem? Oh! Oh, you were lying to me! Okay, Cthulhu. Peter Sampson's car? The sexiest looking car, considered by viewers, of Guns and Horses. Sure, sure, why not? Okay. Am I still kind of in the area to go to Vic? <laughs> Not really, but uh, I said I would go visit him, so I do want to visit him before we get going. Can we? This kind of goes onto the highway. Yeah, this car's got those mods that make it look like a race car, like the little wing in the back and stuff. Vic is below us. Oh god! <laughs> Clearly this is going very, very well. I actually think it would be easier if we just got out here. And just... did this. A little bit more dangerous. But what's life without a little bit of risk-taking? Oh my god, where are we? I don't know. <laughs> and just looking down at the city too. Always a nice view. Remember that one spot above Misty's place? That was a nice view. What the hell are you doing here? What are you graffitiing? Nothing! Okay. I'm wearing a skirt right now, I should be careful. Can't really jump around so much. Barely illegal. Oh, there's nothing here! It just goes through! Q. 
kitty? Kitty's gone. Do you think it's always been the same cat? Maybe except for the one underwater? Hey, Vic. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. I don't think we want to switch out Cyberdex anymore, unless if I want to go back to the previous one. No, I'm okay with what we have. It seems fine. Yeah. Subdermal Armor 200, already better than this one. There's not really too much going on here. Oh, Kiroshi Optics Mark III enhances your vision. <gasps> when did you have this? I've been using the Mark II the whole time. Oh, frick. But I gotta take off the stuff again first, right? Because that's how this works. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, it took it off already. Okay, good. The rest of this stuff, feedback circuit. Eh. No, I don't believe there's too much more. <laughs> <laughs> no. Arms. Okay. You don't got too much here now, do you? Trajectory analysis. Increases headshot bonus by 50%. <laughs> As if we needed another one of these, right? Well, I wouldn't say no. It's legendary. Weak spot detection. Increases crit chance. Preview bullets' ricochet trajectory. I never really tried the Ballistic Co-Processor again since the beginning. Because that's the one that we started with. Maybe it would be nice to try this. Ricocheting? Which of my weapons ricochet? I don't even know. The power ones? The tech ones? Does it say where it ricochets? I have no clue. <laughs> okay, I'll get this one. Trajectory Generator. Okay. Threat detector. Oh. That'll be nice. Make all of my weapons non-lethal. Pretty sure I have these already. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Oh, no, sorry. Got any new toys? I can do this myself, right? If I go to cyberware and then my eyeballs. Trajectory analysis. Oh, I have so many of these already, but I bought some. Yeesh. Weak spot detection. Hmm. Threat detector? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Vic. No, I'm done. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you again, but I really must get going. Marina. No rockets launching today? No? Did I do that? I hope not. Samurai! Is this carries? Oh, we have a waiting thing here. Well, while we're here anyway, want to take a look at some of the boats? Oh, this might be carries. It says samurai after all. Oh, there's a freaking guitar here. It's gotta be carries. What about Bartholomew, then? The other dude? Can we still look at it? That might be a question, too. This is hostile here. This yacht? It looks so... corporate. I'll take the money, at least. Oh, there is stuff going on in here. A little bit. Probably not anymore, though. If we found this during the quest, then maybe we would have seen more. The myth of Ur. Most curious, he said, was the spectacle. Sad and laughable and strange. For the choice of souls was in the most cases based on their experience of a previous life. There he saw the soul which had once been Orpheus, choosing the life of a swan out of enmity to the race of women, hating to be born of a woman because they had been his murderers. He beheld also the soul of Thamyris, choosing the life of a nightingale. 
Birds, on the other hand, like the swan and the other musicians, wanting to be men. The soul which obtained the twentieth lot chose the life of a lion, and this was the soul of Ajax, the son of Telamon, who would not be a man, remembering the injustice which was done to him in the judgment about the arms. The next was Agamemnon, who took the life of an eagle, because, like Ajax, he hated human nature by reason of his sufferings. About the middle came the lot of Atlanta, or Atlanta. She, seeing the great fame of an athlete, was unable to resist the temptation. And after her there followed the soul of Iphias, the son of Panophius, passing into the nature of a woman cunning in the arts, and far away amongst the last who chose, the soul of the jester, Thersites, who was putting on the form of a monkey. There came also the soul of Odysseus, having yet to make a choice, and his lot happened to be the last of them all. Now the recollection of former toils had disenchanted him of ambition, and he went about for a considerable time in search of the life of a private man who had no cares. He had some difficulty in finding this, which was lying about and had been neglected by everybody else. And when he saw it, he said that he would have done the same had his lot been first instead of last, and that he was delighted to have it. And not only did men pass into animals, but I must also mention that there were animals tame and wild, who change into one another and into corresponding human natures, the good into the gentle, and the evil into the savage, in all sorts of combinations. Wow, I don't know if I digested any of that. Souls choosing their new bodies. Thank you. Wow, there's a lot of money just sitting here. Nobody cares. Carrie, I'm ready for you. Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> Gonna take off the marker. Oh, it's actually really shallow here. Oh, what is this stuff? Petrochem. Oh, refueling. Oh, great, I dressed up for this too. <laughs> oh, hey there, Scallywag. Take care. Care to come aboard? Ahoy back at ya. What's going on? Up for a cruise around the bay? Kicking in with old Carrie? What's the occasion? New beginnings and life's loops. Life's loops. V, please don't make me ruin the surprise. You coming or not? New beginnings? Did you break your contract? Okay, yeah. Sounds promising. I'm in. Music to my fucking ears. Off we go. Now if I can find that button to raise and... Dad, fuck it. Seamurai. All ahead! Oh, this is called Seamurai? Damn. Literally living life on the edge. Weather is so bad today. Is that your song? Don't recognize it. Cause it's new. Riff's been bouncing around my skull for a while now. 
I feel like I'm onto something really special here. Nice axe. It's a Lancaster, custom built. Only five ever made in this series. I got one, Militech Chief's got another. The other three, yeah, fuck if I know. It's tailored with a reverse polarity pickup, ebony frets, and one silky smooth Kaimar vibrato. And see this rusty color on the strings? It's supposed to be the blood of legendary blues man Dennis Ford himself. I'm going to assume that's impressive. <laughs> Okay, so, let me hear what this is all about. Like I said, life's loops. Um, breakfast cereal? No, 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 no. Loops. Cycles. One chapter ends, another begins. Life's full of them. At least my guru tells me so. He said he was gonna get back at his manager. He must have done something to his record label. Your guru? Yeah. I got spiritual needs. Visit Kian every couple of years. You know, he's got this yurt in Tangland. Middle of fucking nowhere. Off grid, net blockers included. Our last meet, Kian told me that the time for closure, loop completion, had come. That's why we're here. You and me. This closure got anything to do with Johnny? With you battling shadows? Uh, nah. Uh, well, you know, maybe a bit. Because, you know, managed well without him. Built my career. Made my fortune. Me. But damn it. No matter how hard I try, I can't forget him. Yeah, I'd rip him out of my head if I fucking could. I think I know the feeling. <laughs> well, he's a memorable guy, whether you like him or not. Talk to Rogue. She seems to know a lot about this problem, too. No bite? Tell me about these loops. Okay, so, first tune I ever wrote that was worth a damn, I wrote it to see. And you notice? Fingers are on to something fresh again today. There's a loop for you. I like the beat. What was that little number? I know it. Bleed the beat. And I wrote it during a cruise ship game. The decks, pools. More pools, buffets, shrimp, you know, bells and whistles. Everybody thinks the songs about sticking it to corporal fascistas. But actually, it's... Didn't just make music on that boat. Busted my ass, serving drinks, wait tables. Free time, I composed till my fingers bled. I had to watch out not to stain their precious porcelain. And there it is. A song about bleeding in service of the rich. People hear what they want to hear, though. But man, was that a hit. One of Samurai's biggest. Just like this one will be. Fresh, raw, real. Yo, for real, I like the beat you got going on right now. And you needed company for that? Say it like that. <laughs> but think about that us cracks fiasco lately. About how you helped me. A lot. You shake things up, V. Before you came along, I was stuck in the mud. And now? Got me thinking about a new song. A new album, even. A real fucking thrasher with a new soul. Like everything from now on. Had what I think folks call an epiphany. Really? Both of these sound kind of mean. Ah, it could just be what folks call maturity. You'll see. No more mayhem, no more shady ass schemes. Done with that. 
Well, starting tomorrow. Okay. All right. Now for a breath of freedom. What? Uh, you gonna fucking help me? Or just stand there like a gawk? Chaos and destruction? Why the fuck not? Grab something heavy. No regrets after? Owning a trashed yacht? My yacht? Honestly think I'd name my boat Seamurai. Fuck. <laughs> Who's the fuck is it? Leadhead motherfucker, L.B. Kovacek. Oh! Kovacek? That Kovacek? Mm -hmm. Never got a chance to properly thank him for the us crack shit and a few other things. Do something and smash it. This one's on LB. Okay, let's rip this boat to shreds. Well, well. Finally ready to party. Either he's gone senile or he's finally wising the fuck up. Could be either. Hell yeah. Four in the world now, that guitar. Oh, it's so perfect that I came in a dress today, too. A skirt. Because it's not suited for this kind of work at all. Which makes it even better. Are you gonna... What's gonna happen with your contract later on, though? <laughs> yeah! Oh. No, thanks, me. I'm all right. <laughs> Still got a little left in you. Remember when you woke up in that scrapyard? That's where he is now. Be it reborn. Fuck all the stuff. You proud? For the grand the I bet you're thing. proud. Huh. Baptism by fire and water. A fucking man. Hell yeah. Oh. I will. The settling scores. Well fucking said. Suck on this, Kovacek. Race you to the beach. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, I wanted more stuff to break. That wasn't enough. Am I beating him? Oh, it does say Seamurai. I misread it earlier. Care? Hey. What a pathetic swim, buddy. I think I ought to start using my own pool more often. No shit. Come here, kid. Just hold your breath a little ways. Reek something real. What if it don't blow? Take that back. <laughs> I think I should have. <laughs> or come with Black Market C6. What do you think? <sighs> Never mind. Dang it! I missed the moment. I gotta admit, not bad. It was fucking wild. Just what I needed to. To settle that score? Mm. To mark a new beginning. Thanks, V. Ah, oh, hell of a night, huh? Felt like Samurai's first few gates. A little sloppy. The energy was fucking raw. <laughs> a nice twist of events. Gotta admit. All right. Let's get out of here before the wind flips and we get flooded by that stench. Need a ride? Yeah. Oh, I thought we would actually get a ride. Of course I do. Come on, then.
Where are we? Back in city center? Care? Oh, you dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh, I love this ad. <laughs> when you are sky high, moon cheese. I love it. Life is full of disappointment. You got that right. <laughs> Everything is so much more awkward when you're wearing a skirt. She was like, she was like spreading her legs out and like not sitting properly and whatever. Nice, nice. Back in Japan town. Well, Carrie doing this is probably gonna have bad effects on, you know, the whole record label deal thing, but, you know, he's rich enough, he can deal with it. His manager can't get too mad. 